Hi guys, so today we're going to be modeling a dog um, and the reference image should be provided um, so first we're going to put the reference image in the side view and my reference image is located in the desktop so that's where I find mine, you might find yours in a different place wherever you downloaded it now I'm going to scale and place my reference image to my liking, you can do the same. Um, it doesn't have to be just like mine. It can be humongous. It can be tiny. Do what you want. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to be in perspective view, and I'm going to place a square or a cube inside um, inside of this dog and I'm going to give the subdivision width, height, and depth of 2. Um, this will be very helpful when I use symmetry um, for this dog and using symmetry saves half the time it should take so I urge you all to. It can be found in the modeling toolkit and the uh, common method of symmetry is object X I believe so if yours is different, do object Y or Z, whatever works for you. Um, yeah, so now I will be working in the side view panel um, because I just want to get the profile of the dog first. Um, it, you will see how the dog grows as we continue. <clears throat> so now I'm placing the cube um, according to my reference image so that a uh, few vertices line up and as you'll soon see I'm going to begin moving the vertices to match up precisely with the reference image. Um, I switched into x-ray mode by going into shading and clicking on the x-ray mode this allows me to still see my model and the see through it at the same time so I can see the reference image <clears throat> one thing to note about this reference image is that um, when doing this profiling step you do not want to begin modeling the feet or the uh, ears or the head even um, you can see the red circles on the reference image and those are there to guide you as to what to start with like where the chest should be um, instead of looking at the legs and trying to model them because we will be doing the legs later now I'm going to be extruding a lot to fill up this um, space and I will insert multiple edge loops to add definition and to um, m match my reference image with my model from the side view, of course. Um, and however precise you want to be, you just continue add adding um, edge loops and you'll get more vertices to work with. You can see I'm lining it up with the red um, line instead of continuing with the front leg. So I've begun adding edge loops. And I'm going to speed this up because this is, I'm sure you could do this without the video but um, I add edge loops and I start to place all the vertices um, exactly on the edge of the dog um, the dog reference image and I continue to extrude a bit more and I just continue with the same process uh, making edge loops and matching them with the reference image and you'll notice I follow the red line on the hind legs as well um, instead of continuing with the hind legs.
and I will model the tail later so um, I do not match my model with the um, tail for this model and this is part one